and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. If you're new, my name is Angie. I make a ton of cleaning and laundry motivation, inspiration, and all that. I'm a stay-at-home mom and a homeschooler to a six-year-old. In today's video, I will be cleaning and undecorating my home. So if you like videos like this, keep watching. Please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. First up, I will be starting in the homeschool room. We just have this cute little silver tinsel pencil tree. What I'm gonna do is keep the tree up because I do like it for most of the winter because it really looks nice. It's pre-lit and I love it at night with the lights on. So I'm gonna just take off the decorations and store that away for next year and anything that's kind of Christmassy around it. But for the most part, just keeping this tree up a little bit longer. Okay, so what I like to do is just get a storage bin, take off all the ornaments, just pile it in there, and then later sort through it, wrap what is fragile. But for now, this is a very quick way to just get it off of the tree. So what else I will be doing, keeping these pillows because I do like the red for Valentine's Day coming up, but sorry, Santa. Oops, I just pulled this off. Okay, sorry, Santa, you're gonna have to go into storage. into the little hallway area. I'm gonna be taking down this sign, but I still like keeping a winter vibe to the house because it is still winter. So, but because Valentine's Day is coming up, I'm gonna keep this nutcracker, which is very appropriate for Valentine's Day, and the pink little house I will keep, as well as this nutcracker here, because it's very winterish, but I'll take down anything else that resembles Christmas. Which is actually not a lot now that I'm looking at it. Okay, so this is gonna be like an easy undecorate over here. I'll take down the joy sign, the Santa hat. Um, you know what, maybe you can stay because you're pink and you'll look good for Valentine's Day, still with the winter vibe. And this cute little house will stay. Snowman. So basically everything but this and the garland. anybody else like this just as excited as I am before Christmas to put up all the Christmas decor as soon as Christmas is over I'm like very excited to take it all down I just like how it looks a little bit more cleaner and more minimal it's just a lot sometimes with all the Christmas decor but you know it is what it is so I love decorating so anyway it's just you get excited for the next thing, the next season, the next holiday. I don't know, that's how I feel. of the kitchen now. Again, I'm gonna be keeping some of the decor that I think will go fine, you know, with the winter season, and then take down anything that is Christmassy. I think that's a good plan. I mean, that's what I usually do. I just like to just, you know, if I'm putting up all this decor, 
just keep what's still with the winter vibe. Let me know in the comments below, do you do that or do you just take down everything all at once, all the Christmas, all the winter, and just start over with a, like a clean slate, clean palette for the next holiday. Like now, I'm definitely keeping this tree here for the winter. Um, I like the whole creams and golds and whites here. I decided to keep these green trees here as well. The let it snow because I'm hoping for some snow here where I live. Yeah, and that's it for over here. What I am going to do is dust up there because that hasn't been done in a while. So I'm going to clean that right now. As I'm climbing up here, yeah, I'm realizing why I do not do this this often because I don't like climbing up here. I don't like heights. Yeah, this is not tall, high up. It's not high up at all. But to me, I don't know, kind of maybe with my vertigo and everything, just looking up and doing this, I don't know. The point is, I'm getting it done. Just, <laughs> there's certain chores, you know, where you don't do it as often and you have your reasons for not doing it. This is mine, but I'm getting it done and these crystals are looking shiny now.
did what I did in the other rooms. I left the wintry stuff. I'm all about that icy kind of snowy winter wonderland vibe. So I do like keeping anything that is wintry still up. And I love how this looks at night because these trees light up. I left the twinkle lights that look nice lit up. So that is good for now. So this tree we have here in the living room will be coming down, all the watermelons, the whole tree, everything is coming down. As far as upstairs, I'm gonna leave it alone because my daughter is still enjoying her Christmas tree in her room and all of her Christmas decor. So that will stay up there for a little bit longer. This tree, yeah, it's coming down. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do for next Christmas. If I will keep this white tree, maybe in here or put it somewhere else, but I am missing a big nice green tree. So we'll see what we do for next Christmas. Let me love again. 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 Let me love
How do you store your Christmas ornaments and decor and all that? I know I need to get more like big storage bins so it could be more organized, but I like this. Um, it's This is just for ornaments and I feel like it keeps me organized with it because it has the sections in it and everything and it's just really easy and it holds a lot. I actually should have got another one of these, but this is pretty good for now. So I'm just gonna put all the ornaments that could fit in here. for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this undecorate and clean with me. Hope you got motivated and I'll see you in my next one.